Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you uh, how to create an HDR effect uh, with just one photo. Uh, even though I'm using CS6, you can use CS5 as well because it's just about the same. So the first thing I want to do is uh, I'm going into image adjustments and I'm going into HDR toning. And the reason why I'm doing this tutorial is to show you because I was asked uh, like Miguel how do you do this and here I am doing that so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going into the presets and I'm going into flat so okay then it will be a flat image but now we want to get the saturation just bump it just a bit something like so it's not too bad yeah I'm happy with this with saturation uh, I'll leave the vibrance as it is and now what I want is to brighten up the shadow areas so I'm just going like so like so and I want a bit more let's go a lot more yeah I'm quite happy with this and now I just bring the highlights down so I'll just bring the highlights down a bit more mm, I'm quite happy with that let's bring this up a bit more yeah I'm happy with this so I'll click OK and as you can see we've got a very flat image so what we're going to do we're just going to add an adjustment layer so right here layers palette and levels adjustment layer and this middle slider we just bring it down touch not touch but quite a lot depending on what you're after sometimes I do some images like this and then I can mask them out sometimes I like it like so so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I can mask some areas uh, so I'm selecting layer mask and grab a brush and I'm just going to zoom in I just want to paint something like so so there you go I'm just using a soft edge brush like that a bit more in here and if you overdo it just press the X and you flip the colors around and I'm going to get into this wing as well like so now I'm going to flip the colors around so something like this but you get the idea there you go and I'm nearly done and I'm nearly done obviously make sure you pay a bit more attention to detail than what I'm actually doing and quite happy like so yeah this will be fine if you press the alt key in the layer mask you can see what you've done and as you can see I missed a lot so we can go over it and just do it like this I'm just going to make it bigger. Let's see how it looks. So I just go like so. And it, if it's too much, you can just lower the opacity and add another adjustment layer. And in this case, I'm going to add curves adjustment layer. So I'll just bring down like so 
and like so we've got more contrast and it does look quite cool there you go uh, quick and easy and I hope you liked it so see you next time bye for now